wanted to dive into a bit of what my experience has been like in therapy in terms of becoming aware of this inner child. And I've probably talked about the inner child before in videos, but I don't quite remember what I would have said. And at this point, just so much more has come to light. So I just wanted to share openly about that today. Again, in hopes that someone would resonate or someone would understand. And I just feel like now is probably a good time to start sharing my story about my inner child and what my, my process has been like. And I think this is something that's becoming more and more talked about in the spiritual community and just in general. I think it's becoming a more talked about concept and I do believe it to be 100% real. And even though I'm showing up as an adult today and I do every day, there is essentially a part of my psyche, there's part of me inside that sometimes runs the show and is trying to run my adult life. And sometimes that is this thing called the inner child, my inner child. So essentially it was laid out very clear for me in one of my therapy sessions that we all have this inner dialogue going on all the time. And so we have a child on the bottom. In the middle, we have this adult self. And above that, we have an inner parent. And so we kind of go between those three levels, if you will, of dialogue. And I just find it to be so interesting. So there are certain points in my life where my inner child has suppressed so much sadness, so much trauma, so much anger, because as a child, I wasn't really able to express those things because it was kind of a matter of survival. Like I went through a lot with my blood family and even if things didn't directly affect me or traumatize me, if people that I loved went through a traumatic time, I was really a solid building block of a person that was a child that was acting like an adult. I also had a very strong inner parent my whole life of this voice of perfectionism. And so for the majority of my life, that has been the dialogue. There hasn't really been much of this in-between adult. It's been like inner parent, critical, and upset inner child. And there are many aspects to this, by the way. Like, just because your inner child is loud doesn't necessarily mean that it's super upset. Because your inner child can also be full of joy and it can also be, you know, childlike and magical and wondrous. And your inner parent sometimes can be compassionate, but it, it can also be critical. And it really depends on how you grow up, how you perceive things, and the events that happen in your life and, and how they mold you. So for me, as an adult, like, this has just continued because I didn't, go to therapy and I didn't get necessarily the help that I would have needed as a child. And that's not to put any blame on anybody else or even myself for that matter. But what's been going on in my head and in my relationships has been replaying what's happened to me as a child. And I find, I just need to say this as a disclaimer as well. We in the spiritual community, especially compare our traumas, we compare our pains, our wounds, our life experiences. We need to stop doing that because as my therapist said to me one day in one of our sessions over the past few weeks, it's not necessarily the actual event or trauma that we need to be looking at necessarily, it's how we respond to it. And so we all respond to trauma differently and some people may go through a really, really intense situation and feel one way and someone may go through a minor trauma as a child because a lot of things impact children more than they do sometimes as adults because you're not equipped to deal with things and, and as soon as you're born you are basically concerned about your survival like it's unreal but we're born into this world and we automatically feel like that need of I need to be loved I need to be accepted I need to be part of a tribe, and if I'm not, I'm going to be abandoned, I'm going to be alone, and I'm going to die. And that's just part of how we're built as humans. We just feel that instinctual fear, life or death, um, from the time we're very, very young. So anyways, my point is just that 
no matter what you've gone through in your life, it's valid. And how you felt afterward is valid. And I'm not saying that we should be victims and, and that we should like claim to be victims necessarily. Cause I think that it's important to feel empowered, but sometimes we are victims. Shit happens. Horrible stuff happens on this planet. And sometimes we are indeed victims as well. So I don't know. I'm not saying either is right or wrong. There's probably a time to claim being a victim and there's probably a time to not and to try to overcome it. You know, my whole point is, um, As a child, I feel like I took on way too much that I wasn't prepared to take on. I feel like through therapy, I've realized that I probably didn't have my needs met, but I also didn't know how to ask for them. And so as an adult, this this shows up in all of my relationships now because that's just how this works. And that's also something that's really, really mind boggling because you can go your whole life and some people do go their whole lives being unaware of what's running the show. They're unaware, for the most part, we're so unaware of what our subconscious is doing. It's just running all the time. It's running these old stories. It's running our old memories. And by the way, this stuff is like locked in our cells. Like it's not just even mental, like this is physical. We have physical memory of pains and traumas and we respond as adults as we would as a child or, or whenever traumatic events happened in our lives. And it's like this automatic instinct reaction of like, oh, well, the last time this happened, this was the result and I felt this way. So you try to like protect yourself, but sometimes you just get lost in situations and you're not even conscious of why. And that's essentially what happened to me. Like I got involved in a really significant relationship in my life as an adult within the past few years. And it triggered like every possible trauma that it could it was also like at a time a very magical relationship it was something that felt really divine it felt really karmic it felt like a soulmate relationship but it also came with a lot of work and it's still coming with a lot of work right now even though the relationship has ended and I think that's what relationships are really about Um, I think for a long time in society we've grown up and we've grown to see and watch this idea of Disney movies and we live happily ever after and you find one partner and they're your soulmate and they're going to love you and you're not going to be triggered and everything's going to be fucking perfect. And unfortunately, I've realized that that's not necessarily the case. And I'm not saying that love doesn't exist. I'm not saying soulmates aren't great. But what I am saying is that a lot of times people will come into your life because you have a soul agreement with them. You're meant to show them things about themselves so they can heal and vice versa. And it's not a fun or easy process whatsoever. I'm grateful because I wouldn't be aware of half of the things that are running in my subconscious. I wouldn't be aware of half of my wounds and half of my pains and half of my traumas if I didn't go through this relationship. But it's been really, really challenging. And I have a lot of work to do with my relationship with myself and with my relationship with my family and with my relationship with anybody that comes into my life. Um, maybe not everybody is going to understand this because I have been told that I'm dealing with all this stuff very early on in my life, which is funny because I always forget about how old I am. I've always felt much older than I actually am in my physical body, you know, and, and again, it's this whole nature versus nurture thing that I mentioned in my last video, because I think I was very much born an old soul, but I also endured a lot of challenging times from a really, really young age that made me act like not really the middle adult, but like a parent. And so, yeah, I mean, that's basically been my journey. I don't know what else to say about it right now. Like I just wanted to be open about the fact that it's really challenging sometimes when you're dealing with a hurt inner child because it can feel like it takes over your body. Like, I don't know who else has been through this, but it doesn't mean that you're immature. It doesn't mean that you're not an adult. It doesn't mean that you can't function as an adult, but sometimes it can really feel that way. And that's what's really funny about all of this because it's like my whole life I've been treated like a parent. I've been treated like I was a parent to my sibling. I've been treated like I'm an adult that's responsible for other people's well-being and that kind of thing. And 
I feel like I have always had a lot of wisdom and I've always been very mature for my age, whatever my age was. <clears throat> so I never really acted like a child. However, that doesn't mean that I don't have a really upset inner child within my being because I do. And she's very loud these days, especially going through therapy and getting in tune with like how she feels and how she never got to really respond to a lot of incidents that happen. And some of them aren't even that major, to be honest with you. Like, I've, I definitely have major events and traumas that happen. But I also, as a child, again, like, you can be affected by the smallest thing. Like, someone can drop you off from school one day and you feel like you're abandoned. And you create this abandonment issue. And, like, sometimes it's, it really is with the smallest things with kids. So, with all of that being said, I'm going through a journey right now of trying to find this middle ground adult where I'm not being a critical parent towards myself and I'm not being this hurt, upset child. And it's challenging. Um, again, I'm grateful to be aware of all of this, but it is hard because this is how it works. When you show up as a wounded child in a relationship, especially romantically, but in any relationship really, you're attracting another parent. So you're not attracting like an adult to an adult. You're attracting like a child that's looking for a higher source, that's looking for comfort, that's looking for a parent. And sometimes it can play out. And I feel like that's what happened in my last relationship where it's like sometimes I was a really joyful child. And I was definitely like a full consenting adult that was like very much a full grown woman and was very passionate and was very all these things. And, and at certain times it was adult to adult, but in a lot of situations it became like, I am a child and I'm dealing with a parent right now. And it's been really hard. Um, I attracted this relationship into my life. And again, sometimes I was very childlike and joyful and happy with this person. And they took care of me like a parent would. And they loved me and showed up for me like a parent one. But then we also had times of the opposite of that where I was the hurt and wounded child and I was scared and I was trying to protect and save their life. And they were the parent, but they were also hurting and weren't able to show up for me. And I felt really betrayed and I tried to help them in a time of crisis and a time of trauma and I couldn't save them. And now I'm dealing with the aftermath of all those feelings and it's been really, really challenging because this is not new. Like for me, that's such an old feeling, right? I mean, having heard everything that I just said my whole life was really mostly being this child that was trying to be a solid rock for everybody else and didn't have my needs met. I mean, I just replayed this in an adult relationship. And again, we would go through all these different things of like adult to adult, child to parent, child to parent on both good and bad sides. And it all came up for my awareness so I can start to heal this <clears throat> because it's my job to heal. But I still very much like just want to say that if anyone else is ever going through this process, like it is challenging and it's hard and it's frustrating and I feel like the emotions that come up with it are so potent and so raw and so strong and hard to deal with because not only are they rooted in the present moment of the relationship, but they're also so deeply rooted in the past and things that are unresolved and things that were never looked at, things that were never fully felt. And in order to heal this stuff, it certainly helps to go to therapy and it certainly helps to allow yourself to feel those feelings. So it's been hard for me because my whole life, everyone has known me as being this put together, prim and proper person that's very strong and very much there for everybody, especially in times of crisis. And now that I finally have to let myself go to this dark place of being a scared, wounded inner child, it's hard for me to allow myself to go there because I never got to be that way. And I think I was afraid to be that, to feel that fear, to voice that fear, um, to be in that state is very scary for me. Um, but it's definitely the thing that's going to set me free as well. And if I didn't become aware of any of this stuff, I would just keep like 
attracting this in a new relationship. Every single time it would be attracting the same thing. So uh, I guess that's it for today. I just wanted to be honest and sh- share a little story time about um, my inner child and what I'm dealing with my, with my inner child. And to some people, it'll sound really out there and woo-woo and crazy, but I know a lot of people will relate to this. And as adults, um, at some point or another, I bet a lot of people have to deal with their inner child. Some people don't deal with it until like they have a midlife crisis. Um, <laughs> mine came a whole lot earlier. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. Um, I hope you guys can relate. I hope someone can relate out there and uh, we'll chat soon.